close the door at the back there for me. Thanks very much, sir. Thank you. Did we lose a couple there? Yeah. Right, everybody. Now, what we're doing, we're starting the tour in the most important room of television. This is, of course, our production control room. Now, it's really known in here as the nerve center of program making. It's a little bit like, say, the bridge of a ship or the cockpit of an aeroplane. Of course, we don't have captains in here, do we? We normally have the director that sits in the center. That's you, sir. You're our director today, okay. Well, as I say, everybody, the director is in charge here of transforming this little TV script into the finished television program. That's what the director here normally has to do, you see. Well, we're talking about the director because I don't know if you've noticed, but the actual chair the director's sitting in here, you'll see that that chair looks a little bit out of place with all the other ones there. Have you noticed that, everyone? Yes? Well, uh, can I ask you, sir, do you feel a little bit funny sitting in that chair at all? No. No, you don't. Well, uh, well <laughs> it's, it's, I'm asking you, see, sir, because that chair that you're sitting in there, I'm afraid, has got a lot of superstition about it because our cleaners won't clean it and our crew they won't even go near it. It's because, sir, it was owned by one of the most famous directors in the world. Now, if I was to mention to you Vertigo, North by North West, The Birds, Dialogue for Murder, I'm sure you know I'm talking about Alfred Hitchcock. Well, you see, everybody, he came here to Granada over 30 years ago to film Alfred Hitchcock Presents. Now, I think you'd all agree with me that he is known as what we call the Grandmaster of Murder, Mystery and Suspense when he came here to Granada. And I'm afraid that that chair there that isn't the only reminder that you like it. Now, Blackburn over there still doing with the uh, with history about the set. So just a couple more. 
There are all rules and regulations when we start the debate. Now, the Royal Mace is in position at the end of the table there. That is the Royal Seal of Approval in the House. Thank you, Black Rock. Wave up. And without that, in <laughs> without that in position, the House is. You're right now, Mark. Just been towards you, Brett, have you? <laughs> now, without that in position, the House is powerless. But with that in its place, it means any bills that we pass this afternoon become law. In other words, you lot are running the country for the next few minutes. How do you feel about that? Yeah. 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 Now, just behind the uh, oh, right, so the two dispatch boxes, gifts from the New Zealand government, thank you, Blackers, and they normally contain the uh, House of Commons Bibles, which MPs swear allegiance to the House and to the Crown before taking their seats. Now, have you noticed the two red lines drawn on the floor? Thank you, Blackburn. You used to be an air hostess, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, these were drawn down on the days when MPs were allowed to wear swords in the House, because it was known for MPs to draw swords on one another and start dueling across the floor. Well, we can't really have that sort of thing going on in here, can we, sir? No, of course not. I mean, that is all. So what we did, we drew down these two red lines, two sword lengths, and one foot apart. Now these days, any member seen crossing the red lines without first asking my permission to do so, it is seen as an act of aggression. And I get old black red over there to swoop down on you, pick you up by the ears, and throw you out. <coughs> Look at him. Now he's only white here, that's pretty suspicious. <laughs> You better watch what you're doing. But if you wish to speak, just raise your hand. I'll ask for your name and your constituency. That's where you come from. And then you can say whatever you like. Either from where you're standing, or you can come now, use one of the microphones, and be totally embarrassed. <laughs> but uh, don't be afraid of talking rubbish. Because the House of Commons, after all, wants to be authentic, don't we? <laughs> right, so the first bit of the session is... Uh, oh, very difficult one to begin with, ladies and gentlemen. Capital punishment. Where are you from, Mark? Room. And you wish to say about capital punishment? Yes, I think Bring back the rope. Yeah. Program, anyone in particular? <laughs> Murderers. Right, thank you very much. Yeah, that was, that was yes. Don't you start now, Mark. Don't you start thinking. You, you can sit down, you fool. Sit down. That's all I like. Come in here with your cheap CLA dresses. I don't know. Anybody else want to agree with the lady or disagree? Anybody who wears baggy shorts, I say string them up. Stand up, sir. Rod, throw him out.
So it's over to Black Rob and scores on the doors. <laughs> One to the government end. To the other end. <laughs> so I'm so it's over to Black Rod for the scores on the doors. <laughs> One to the government and to the other. <laughs> so moving swiftly along, second meal of the day, and this should be of interest to the more senior members with us today. Birth control. Birth control. <laughs> no, it's not actually. It's uh, pensions. Ow. Does anybody like to say anything about pensions? Does anybody like to say they're not getting enough? Yes. <laughs> Mrs. Speaker, Arthur Clare, and Pete Regent, in answer, will be that one of them. Mrs. Speaker, due to the ever increasing number of senior citizens in this country each year, is the government wholly aware of the needs of this section of our community? Because I don't think they are. Of oh, course they are, yes! And the pressing needs. The pressing needs to quell the anger and unrest of pension queues outside post offices that have been in this country. Now, just a minute, Crowder, have you got any examples of this anger and unrest? As a matter of fact, I have, Mr. Speaker. I'll refer to an incident reported in the press the other day when a gang of incensed senior citizens and she them. Who's that? Hard face, there, whatever it is. Leave her there for a long time there. They attacked and hospitalised two punk rockers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who were there at the post office in an armor van merely to collect the dial checks? It's this great. Oh, yeah. 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 Point of order, Mr. Speaker. Point of order. That is utter what? What? <laughs> oh, right. Rob, Rob. It is quest fabrication and we do not believe a word of it, do we? No! no. Hang on, mate, hang on. It's not press fabrication. We're already in the sun. It's going to do it. Now this anger, Mr. Speaker, this anger is due to repeated government cuts in pensions and social service. No rubbish, Rhubarb! <laughs> yeah, there would have been nice there. Yeah. What, from the dead or something? <laughs> Meals on wheels. Meals on wheels, Mr. Speaker, has deteriorated. What? It's, it's got worse, hasn't it? <laughs> and cold rice pudding is no substitute for meeting two veg and a bottle of magazine, is it, eh? Those issues. 
of a wife I did. Sit down, you brat. It was her. Mrs. Speaker, James Willoughby Forsyth, member for Little Hampton, Wick. Yes, you're getting on mine, mate. Mrs. Speaker, does the White Up Rule member belong? Seriously believe that such concessions are feasible? Yes, of course I do. Get back on your rubber ring. Good grief, man. You'll be subsidised meals in four-star hotels, and all expenses paid twits to the cost of Del Sol next. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah! yeah. yeah. What do you want, mate? Yeah. What do you want? Come on out here. <laughs> so that's a marvellous idea. Bang all that on the top, and up the other these and a free twits as well. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, I submit that my white son will call. Oh, 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 Now, any more of this, I'll throw you both out. Pat Rod's itching, he's itching. Simply funny. Mr. Speaker, I stand against this motion. We'll give it to one side then. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just like to ask you Oh yes. And where does the white uncle member propose to find the necessary dosh to finance such a ridiculous day if you may? Where is the money coming from? That's what I want to know, isn't it? Yeah! yeah.